Hey friend, welcome. I have a huge, ridiculously huge bins haul today. I went to the Goodwill Outlets in Indianapolis and, well, just one. I just went to one <laughs> uh, last week and I got 128 pounds. Unbelievable. 128 pounds of goods to sell, resell on eBay, and eventually I'm working my way to other platforms as well. So my kiddos were on break. Well, I homeschool, but that's a whole nother thing. <laughs> it was in between Christmas and New Year's. My 11-year-old wanted to go with me. Actually, she was the one who spurred the whole trip in the first place. So last time I went, I had 88 pounds. This time it was 128. So I owe, what is that, 40 pounds to her. <laughs> she did a great job. She's actually quite the good thrifter and sorcerer, so I'm excited to show you what I got. Uh, because she came along, we got a lot of plush, and she's actually really good. I did get a lot of stuff. So I spent $170 and some odd cents. I have 152 I think, sellable items. Last time I went, as I was taking pictures, a few things ended up having holes in places that I hadn't noticed. Uh, so I'm assuming that that's going to happen, but my cost of goods, my average cost of goods this time around was $1.12. I'm super happy about that. So a whole bunch of denim. I mean like a ton of denim. And I think I have at least four pairs of overalls and like nine pairs of Levi's. I have kid Levi and that's just grown up Levi's. Kid Levi's. I don't know. Just a ton of stuff. First thing I have in my hand, I did find a pair of Crocs and on those Crocs were these little, uh, I don't know. What are they called? Croc pins? Croc <laughs> accessories? I don't know. I'm not a Croc girl. So oh, there's, the pin. there's one missing. I had put them on top of my washing machine. I'd put them on top Can of my washing them? machine as I was washing all these clothes and uh, it's probably still there. So the first little pile I'm going to show you is the stuff that I got intentionally for my family. So not to resell. Now some of the stuff that I did buy to resell inevitably ends up in my family's care. <laughs> possession. So uh, this case in point, I actually did buy these to resell. But last night, my daughter was like, I need a pair of jeans. And I was like, I'm pretty sure I have a pair in your size, because there was so much denim. So this is actually Pilcro and the letterpress by anthropology. I was like, girl, you got some good, good, what I say what I call it, good taste. So these are just she is a straight leg skinny jean kind of girl. So these are actually the slim straight petite. Yeah, they're like a straight edge. So I got those for her. Well, I got those to resell, but she took them. I, uh, we got this for my 14 year old who is a huge Harry Potter fan. I bought this green quarter zip sweater for my husband. It is uh, Van Heusen, which I think it's a decent brand. My husband really likes it. It doesn't resell very well, in my opinion, in my experience, and what I've comped. So, but I did actually find this just for him. He loves a quarter zip sweater. So, also, my 11 year old who went with me found this folder, which, you know, it weighs nothing. So, it probably cost pennies. And then I also got a little pair of gloves because we lose them <laughs> because we have kids because kids are kids. So those, are the, so those are the things that I bought specifically for my family. So now let's get into this okay, no huge ginormous, nope, just leave it there. Huge, ginormous two bins <laughs> full of plush. She was determined that we bring home something ginormous, so a giraffe it was. I'm not really super looking forward to uh, selling it, but it's Animal oh, Adventures, and it comped pretty good because I wasn't about to bring it home without comping it. I don't remember this one getting in my cart, and yet here it is. 
another this is toy factory which I think is just pretty common so hopefully he'll sell in a decent amount this is a like peeps looking kind of tie-dye colorful rainbow bunny <laughs> thought it would be good for Easter I see Easter. no brand that's unfortunate I <laughs> We're just throwing stuffies around here. Uh, I did not comp all of the plush. I did comp some of it, but some of it was like, it's lightweight. I, mm, I'm not super worried about. This is Care Bear. It has a tag. I don't, it doesn't feel very high quality. I don't know. This is one of those flip -a -zoo, so it's an elephant. Or is it a lion? <laughs> and it has a tag. Somewhere, somewhere it has a tag. It also has a sticker yeah. stuck to it. Yep. Yeah. So flip a zoo. My kids always liked the flip a zoo. Um, I think I just got this because it was super soft and cuddly, and Valentine's Day is coming up. Um, and it had a tag, so oh, this I don't. This is so cute. It, can you hand it to me, please? This also has a tag. This is sugar loaf. I actually just sold some sugar loaf dolls. Um, by Kelly Toy. I don't know. <laughs> Please don't do that. <laughs> okay, just toss them to me nicely here in my lap. Okay? <laughs> okay. All right, this is BB-8 with a tag. This is Dumbo. He does not have a tag, but he is a Coles Cares Disney plush. Pinch out. Bins out. Okay. My daughter was so excited when she found this. This guy is a jelly cat. A jelly cat. She was like, Mom, Mom, I found a jelly cat. She was so excited. He's a, a little uh, cat. Well, I thought he was a gorilla, but he's got a tail, so he's a monkey. He's cute. Yeah. Oh, Peppa Pig. Piggy bank. I feel like I comped him, but I don't remember. Uh he is Mary Meyer. Oh, you know what? Maybe I comped a different Mary Meyer. Anyway, he is a camo lobster. Mama, you have to do a some kind of <laughs> trick. Abracadabra. Okay, abracadabra. Whew. All right, Scooby-Doo with a cape. He's a magical Scooby-Doo. Say high five. Okay, high five. Coming at you. High five from the Emoji Movie. <laughs> I love him. Didn't she do a great job? She did a great job finding the plush. Come on, babe. And ready? Okay, let's go. I found this. Uh, there were actually two of them. One was a dog, one was the an elephant. I did not keep the dog because he was rather matted and I feel like there were, like he didn't comp well. But it's just like a little lovey. It's actually called My Banky. I figured Still that's there. one of those things Still that kids lose here. and parents are Still freaking out. Olaf, with teeth. Does Olaf have teeth? I'm not yes. sure. Next. Yes, Gotta be ready. It's a bear. But it's a build a bear. She was also very excited that she found that. So I was excited for her. Oh, these are not stuffies. <laughs> but we are plushy. I did comp these. And let's see. They look to be in good Cheetos. brand. But they are called Warmies. So these are slippers. And they're, I mean, really nice condition. But they're the slippers that you like put in your microwave and warm them up and then you wear them on your feet. I can't believe I found them both. <laughs> but I did. Next. This is a Mickey Mouse um, Christmas. And it's like a little kid toy. Like one of those that you hook on a stroller or something or their car seat. And who did you tell me this was? Toodles. This is Toodles, apparently. Okay. Oh, Elmo has a bunny. And I was real excited about this until I got him home and realized he's kind of not great quality. He's like, it's like a bean bag and covered in felt. I'm not really sure. But anyway, he's Pikachu. I've been watching some plush videos because I feel like garage sale season is upon us and we're gonna find a 
whole bunch. Oh, he's real linty, hairy. <laughs> uh, we're gonna find a whole bunch of plush for like 25 cents, and I feel like that is the time that we're going to, you know, want to stock up on plush. So I've been watching what to buy, what not to buy, what's literally behind. So this guy I'm kind of sad about. I got him home and I put all my plush in the dryer as I do because gross. Um, <laughs> so I put him in the dryer and his hair like matted down and afterwards I looked up the comps on him and I was like, well, there goes 15 bucks. Wait, you forgot to say his name. I don't know his name. What's his name? Minions. Oh, it's a minion. It's a purple minion. All right. Wait, we got turned into a monster. All right. I have a pile of shoes beside me. This, these are Skechers. They're not, the soles look really good. I'm gonna but go they're, home. I mean, they clearly I'm have been around. used. I'm gonna go okay. I think if I, you know, kind of stuff some stuff in the toes, maybe I can get them to reshape. But they're just like, I don't know. What are they, like work boots? Oh, they have memory foam. Oh, they're still pretty cushy. So I found both of those, which is always delightful when you find more than one. I found those. Oh, you're saving those for last? Yeah. Okay. Um, I should say, my daughter found most of these shoes as well. She went over to the hard goods and she found all the stuffies and yeah, she did really good. These are Minnetonkas. They were pretty fun. I comped them because I wasn't sure, but they, you know, comped pretty well. So when I comp things at the bins, you know, in my whole two times of going, <laughs> my big giant experiment experience. So when I comp things at the bins, I'm looking for at least $15 or more of sold price. And then 50% uh, at least sell through rate. I think works well for me. We'll see. I don't know. <laughs> so these are clogs. I just thought they looked really nice. They actually look brand new. But they comped pretty well. I did comp those because I wasn't familiar with the bland, brand. Bland. <laughs> Another pair of Skechers. These are just uh, more memory foam ones. Oh, these were the Crocs I found that had the thingamajigs on them. They cleaned up pretty nice, but they've got some pretty decent wear on the soles, so I don't imagine I'll get too much for these, but that's okay. And then these probably will end up at our house. These are Play, P-L-A-E, and it's a brand that I like for my kids. I just need to see if they'll fit my son, but I found both of these. I was super excited because, yeah, like I said, I like this brand. Another brand that I really like for our family, and I was kind of bummed that these weren't anyone's size, are Keens, and these look brand spanking new. I buy these on eBay all the time. <laughs> Every year I have to replace probably one or two pairs just because, you know, kids outgrow things. I think, I think this year I had to buy four pair. I'm not sure. My daughter was so excited about these, and I was excited for her and also for me. These are Birkenstocks, and there's no way you can see that <laughs> in there, but uh, they're, I mean, they're pretty well used. So anyway, these are Birkenstocks. She was super excited. They're little, and actually, now that I'm thinking, looking about it, looking at it, I don't think there's a size in these. Oh, no. Well, that's kind of a bummer. My daughter just said they fit her. <laughs> I don't know that she's getting a pair of Birkenstocks, but we'll see. They fit me so they we'll see. Like there is them. definitely some wear on the heel there, so um, she was really excited about that. I don't even know. How did you know that Birkenstocks were a good uh, shoe brand to find? I watched a video. She watched a video. Yay for YouTube. All right, we're going to move on to hats and bras. I got actually quite a few bras. <laughs> this is Richardson's. I didn't comp any of the hats. I just, if they looked nice and weren't too terribly dirty, then I grabbed them because, you know, they don't weigh very much. So I don't know what that is. It's a sports team of some kind. Don't tell my husband. This is a Mario. It's like a costume hat. I, I don't know. This was so cute. Just darling, isn't that cute? It's like little dinosaurs and it has the ear flaps and it has like dinosaur spikes on the top. <laughs> Thought it was so cute. Oh, here we go. Is it me? It's a cowboy 
hat. It's not a cowboy hat. It's like a beach hat. Anyway, it was new with Jags, and it's Croft and Barrel, which is not super exciting, but it was new with Jags. Actually, it's $38 new, so I might be able to sell that for $20. This, you know, going into spring, it might it might work. And it's uh, one of the travel hats, so your shoes are supposed to be able to, like, crumple it up, and it'll hold its shape. This, I don't know what this is. It says Amsterdam. It has one, the sticker on it and has a tag, so I just assumed it was new with tags. Yeah. So it's a trucker hat with a snapback. Again, I didn't comp any of these. Yeah. Oh, okay. Another trucker hat with a snapback. This is Dogfish Head Craft Brewed Ales. I'm assuming that's some sort of beer something or other. All right, this is Chatham Hills inaugural member. Ooh. It says Pete Dye. It's an Imperial. I have no idea. It just looked fancy. <laughs> I don't know what that is either. Again, it had a sticker. It says Christopher B's Black Bobo. <laughs> I don't know what that says. Bo -bo. You know what that says? Okay. Hopefully I can like Google search it. Anyway, it's a 5950, which I've learned. It's a decent brand. This is a Colts hat. It is a Velcro. Not, not ideal, but they still sell. It is an NFL team. This is a Breeders Cup Churchill Downs. I just thought, I don't know, horse racing, right? So it's from 2018, it says on the back. We're out of hats. Oh, this is the last hat. I have no idea what this is. It's super lightweight, and so I just was like, eh, we'll, we'll throw it in there. It's 100% cotton, and Hitwear is the brand, which is probably nothing. Okay, I did pick up some bras this time. This is a Victoria's Secret, very sexy push-up bra. My deal with bras where it had to be like almost in perfect condition. I don't know. Uh, this one is Body by Victoria. Body Just another Victoria. black bra. Yep. These, <laughs> these oh, are wait, brand new. Wait, they were just sold at... We okay, we can hats. get one more hat. It's fine. So these were just sold at TJ Maxx, but... It's this hat. Warner's. I don't know. They were new. And they don't cost much at all. Another hat. Also, um... New with tags. It's Juncture Kids. It's probably not worth much. My kids' philosophy is if I can find it cheap enough, I can sell it at the kids' like buy, sell, trade, like the consignment sale that is two, twice a year in my town. So I'm not super worried if, you know, it's not worth much on eBay. I'm still going to pick it up. But I just thought that little dinosaur was so cute. More bras. And let's see what, what do we this? have here. It's a shirt. You got something from a different... Oh, this is also Warner's. Which is that same brand from the TJ Maxx store. I thought I only picked up Victoria's Secret. This is Auden. The Bliss. Wait, Mom. It's cute. Alright. <clears throat> this is a different category. But it is a Liz Lang maternity... And it's just a really cute shirt, and I got it because my sweet daughter picked it out and said she knows I like to get maternity clothes for those sweet mamas that need maternity clothes. So this is kind of a little active wear pile. So this is a just champion lightweight tank top. I got a lot of champion. I may actually, I was thinking maybe I would lot it up, do a little champion pile. They're all pretty, Annie. Okay, I can't find the brand on this. There it is. Hello. Oh, yep, champion. <laughs> but these are just little leggings, little cropped leggings. These are pink hey, leggings, also that. champion. That's what, when I found the second pair, I was like, oh, maybe, oh, these are really cute. They've got a little, little detail on the leg. These are a little Under Armour leggings. Hey, they might be kids. I can't Other find mine. a size. This is a Blair, which I don't know where this is sold. I don't think it's anything at all. 
Um, I should find out where it's sold, but I see it all the time. But this is just like a little lounge like cardigan. So I also found the pants that go with them and I have learned from uh, Jack and Ryan, Jack Valentine channel that like loungy pantsuits are popular. So I did comp them. I think I can sell the whole set for like $15. I don't think it's going to be anything exciting or major, but that's okay. Another Under Armour. These actually, I believe, are men's, like an under running something right. or other. The next category is kids. I've already kind of told you my philosophy on kids' clothes, so I really just pick up whatever I think is cute or a nice brand. This is what? Disney, and I was all excited about it, but when I got it home, like the pleather on that is kind of trash. So that's a bummer, but it's so cute. It's like Mom, wicked, like a me? villain. It's Mom, like, may what's my name? Oh, it's from Descendants. Okay, this is a Gymboree little vest. I thought it was cute with the bows and the buttons, but then I saw it's missing a button. So that's a bummer. Two fails right in a row. This is Hannah Anderson. These leggings don't sell for much, but again, I can sell them at my consignment sale if they don't, if they don't sell. But these are a bigger size and they looked pretty nice. Oh, see, I found so many um, overalls. These are Oshkosh, and they're just, uh, what's the word? Khaki? They're real lightweight. Dirty brown. They're not, they're dirty brown. Oh, I thought this was fun. I didn't comp it. I should have, but it's a Pokemon sweatshirt. It says Pokemon right down the side. And this, I actually got a lot of kids stuff this time around. Mama, this is Reebok. This is for me. And it is a this is for me. size 10, 12. It's not for you. And it's just like a full zip hoodie. So next is my daughter found this. It is a My Little Pony so shirt. Tiny. It says girls can do anything, which is so true. This is a little Jimbury onesie. Little Peter Pan collar with little heart detail on it. It's so cute. And I actually found two of these. I don't know where the other one is right now. This is this is just old navy. My daughter picked this and it really fits like our family, <laughs> kind of our family dynamics. This may just end up in I think I pulled it in there thinking maybe my five-year-old would want to wear it, but I don't know. It may end up in the consignment sale. Me? This is one of those like month to month uh, blankets where you lay the baby here and take the picture. So unfortunately, oh, it does have a tag. Gertex. Mama, is this for That's a well-known brand, don't you think? <laughs> anyway, I thought it was kind of cute. This also my daughter found it is a little horse t-shirt, but it's Carhartt. She's all excited. This is Crew Cuts, which is J. Crew's kid brand, is what I'm under, of the understanding. And your daughter found. It. I believe I can't find it. It does have lamb's wool in it, but I thought it was really cute with this like. Did you find it? Not really fair aisle, but did you I don't find know. It? It's just really cute. I did find it. Oh mommy. And then I found a quilt. Did you find and that? this is beautiful. Did you find that? I did Can find I... it. So this is really pretty. I loved this. It's like floral on the other side. And it does have Quilters United Sewing Smiles for Kids made by Sandy. It's kind of cute. So then another Oshkosh pair of overalls and these are lined which I thought was good um Oshkosh overall dress little jumper thing with the floral print on there and I think this one was vintage no it's not bummer it's okay it's still cute <laughs> and these are also oh no these are Jimbery they're 12 to 18 months but just little little jeans with these little uh, kind of circle dots. So I have a little pile of scarves. These are 
Okay, this I don't I don't think is real. So I don't know. I don't know how to find out if it's real. Um but I need to, I need to do some re research, but it's this uh wool. I can tell it was wool just by the way it feels. It's like blue plaid with like a purpley pink and actually it looks red. In my video it's looking kind of pink, but it's red here, kind of a gold color. So it is lamb's wool, dry clean only, and it has a Christian Dior sticker on it, but it's like falling off like the... So I don't know if it's real <laughs> uh, Christian Dior. That would be amazing, but probably it's not. <laughs> so probably I'll have to sell it unbranded. But then, you know, eBay... <laughs> If you saw my last week's video, eBay may take it down as a fake. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. So this, let's see, is Morgan Travis and it is 100% baby alpaca and it is just like a brown plaid, kind of basic, but I just thought it was really pretty. It's really wrinkled, badly wrinkled. I didn't know wool wrinkled that bad. Oh, this was cool. So this is just like a Aztec kind of printed scarf. But it has buttons on it and then on the other side it has button holes and so you wear it like a shawl which i thought was really cool so it's just acrylic but because of it had that button detail i just thought it was really neat you could wear it like a shawl this is a blanket scarf it's huge i just thought it was really pretty and it is just acrylic but my rule with scarves was it had to have a tag of some kind. <laughs> uh, not necessarily a name brand, but it had to have a tag. So this is the one skirt, I think, that I found. And it is Torrid, which Torrid makes me happy when I find. And it's a size 1. And I thought it was just like a basic black skirt, but it actually has this little detail on it. Like a, like a faux wrap. Oh, I thought it was really cute this I love it is not at all my style and certainly not my size but it was so cute um, it is glamorous tall which I don't think is I think it's like a fast fashion I did comp it but I don't remember anything so it is just a like plaid I don't even think it's cotton I think it's yeah it's a cotton blend the, it's lined, but it's the lining well, is polyester. Is cute. Yeah, it's real cute. It has like a ruffle sleeve and plunging neckline. It does have a belt, and the belt was attached, which is delightful. But it's long. I think it's probably a midi skirt with a slit. I just thought it was so darling and very cute. And like I said, not at all like anything I would ever wear, but I loved it. I absolutely loved it. So this I put in here because I thought it was a dress, but it might just be a tunic, a tunic. or a blouse. It is J. Crew size 10, and it's just like a chambray oh, that is cute. ruffle sleeve, and it has a little um, little detail on it. I'm just thinking. I just thought it was cute. And it is J. Cute, Crew, Mom. right? You do good on me. It's oh, well, thank you, honey. You're so you get sweet. Lots of money. Uh, you this get is it? Loft. So you notice I pick up a lot of like mall brands. Oh, that's ooh, kind of what ooh. I know. I'm not super like fashionable. <laughs> um, fashion it's what I know. You. So fashion you. Fashion it works you. for me. It's working for me now. If you don't know, I'm <laughs> brand new to reselling. I'm just in my fourth month currently and I'm only doing this part-time just kind of within being a mom <laughs> you're seeing lots of that today and um, I homeschool my kids just you know in in life so I I don't always know what I'm doing <laughs> so this is not like a list of must-have things to pick up at the bins from Jen this is just things Jen picked up at the bin that maybe hopefully will sell one day we'll see Anyway, I thought that dress was really cute. Um, we missed a couple things in the kids section. This is that other little Gymboree shirt. So that Peter Pan collar is a little different with the bow there. I might lot those up and see what happens. And then, oh, 
Levi's. <laughs> I'm telling you, so many Levi's. These are a 10 regular and they're a 5'11 slip. The next pile is kind of bags and miscellaneous things. So this is a 31 bag. It's actually kind of picky on the inside. I need to try and wash that out. We'll see. This was one of those things that I thought, eh, well, if it doesn't sell, I use I'm it. Start with bags. Used to love 31. I have quite the collection. This is to me, I feel like I comped this, but I don't remember. It's just like a it's not canvas, it's like vinyl almost. Uh reminds me a little bit of Bagalini, but like a different style. So it's just like a little kind of slouchy hobo bag. With is a this a doll clothes for me? Is this a doll? For me. It's not really for you. What is it? It's doll clothes. I'm gonna sell hopefully. This is it's gonna be for me. a guitar case. Soft shell. Soft shell. Oh, like a taco. Oh, yeah, it's a soft it. guitar case. All right. I found a little. This is American Girl doll. I was gonna look it up to see if it's something. I doubt American it's anything. But um, if it's nothing, it'll probably go to this one. <laughs> if it's something then I'll probably sell it. But I, like I said, I doubt it's anything. I was hoping I would come across more. Is it mine? But they're just tiny and little, so. Is it mine? Found a cute little Vera bag. It's actually kind of a large Vera bag. And yeah, There's another one. I don't know. I, I know Vera's not like, it's Can oversaturated and too? it doesn't sell for a whole ton, but too? I thought for a dollar twelve, you, you know, I knew my too? cost of goods was gonna be pretty low, so. This I thought was just cute. It is unbranded. It actually looks handmade, but isn't it so cute and springy? It's like a little tote bag. I am noticing it has like backing on the inside. So I don't know. I might need to take that out. I don't know if I should just leave that in or what. But anyway, I thought that was a really cute little bag. This is just a peanut pillowcase. Couldn't think of the word for a second there. It is from 1971. Surely somebody will want that, right? I don't know. Maybe not. And then I found, this is very obviously handmade, but it is just a cute little Thai Christmas apron. You know, like a half half apron. Let's see. All right. Time to get a new pie. I found three pairs of maternity jeans. These are Isabel Maternity. I don't know that brand. Oh, another Isabel maternity. They looked really nice and, you know, wider leg. Trying, <laughs> you can't really find high rise on maternity jeans. Like that's not a thing, but <laughs> I did. Oh, they're all, they're all Isabel maternity. And actually I'm just seeing on this one, it says skinny boot cut. So cool. I thought one of those was a like the thing, which is just a target, I think, but it doesn't matter. Got a little pile of shorts here because there were shorts. I don't know, I wasn't really looking for shorts, but at the same time, I don't have really specific things that I'm looking for. I feel like at the binge, you kind of just get what is going on in there, you know? So these are Nike. Just like an athletic short with the drawstring. I'll have to find out. I can't quite tell if those are men's or like a large woman. Uh, these are American Eagle. Just little cutoff shorts. Teeny tiny. These are American Eagle. You will find that, that is a theme <laughs> throughout the shorts and the denim. These are Land's End, which is another brand that I tend to get. And I don't really have any proof that it's a good brand. I think I got these because these were linen blend. I think. No, they're 100% cotton. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I got those. Oh, these are Levi's. And just little Levi shorts. Hollister. I don't know if that's a good brand anymore. But there's just little cutoffs. Lots of little cutoffs. Again, with the Levi's, these are 515 Bermudas, and they've got the little like bling on the pockets. 
these were cute. They're loft. This little, these are linen, I think. These were the ones that were linen. Yeah, it's just a linen blend, but still. They're cute. And then these are Ralph Lauren Sport. That is not a brand I've sold. Um, try to stick with Lauren Ralph Lauren just because somebody one time told me, it was probably a YouTuber, <laughs> somebody one time said, Lauren Ralph Lauren sells, so that's what I pick up, but I thought those were cute, and as you can tell, it's a denim theme. Stay to the end, I'm going to tell you how many pieces of denim I have, you're going to, it's going to blow your mind. Okay, <laughs> I'm not counting like the chambray in it either. This is my tops. So there's sweaters, there's blouses, there's blazers, you'll see. So this is loft and it's just a little chambray flutter sleeve shirt. Am I missing a button? No, it's there, yay. <laughs> this I did not comp, but I thought it was really cute. So it's Smokey the Bear, can you see that? Smokey the Bear and it's just like a little crop cut off tee. I think it was extra large, uh, just a large, but still cute. This, I kind of debated on getting, and I'll show you why, but I might still try and sell it, but also if it doesn't work or I don't think I should sell it, one of my kids will wear it, my 11-year-old probably. So it's just a woman's North Face hoodie, and it has the logo on it, but do you see it's like cut down the middle? And I know like kids do that, but... I don't know. It bothers me, but that's okay. I knew when I bought it that it was that. I have sold a Michael Michael Kors shirt before, but this one I think is so cute. It's just a little, well, I can get it under control here. A little sleeveless v-neck, and then it has a little zipper detail on the sleeve. Shoulder strap, I don't know. I did not comp this. Oh, it's inside out too. Okay, well I'll show you. That is Ping, which I believe is a pretty high quality golf brand. And so this is obviously just like a golf shirt and I am seeing it has some staining. Bummer. Well, I can put my OxyClean to work, right? See if that works. I have yet, I have a little pile of things. So maybe it will just go in that pile. We'll see if we can get that out, but it is just, Orange and white stripe. I don't know if you can see the staining on there. It's just kind of yellowed through here. Like somebody spilled something on them while they were golfing. This is Land's End. And it's a little cardigan. It's tan on the back and yellow on the front. It reminds me of something I would have worn in high school, which is why I got it. <laughs> um, I guess I could have put this in the active wear, but it is just an Under Armour... Like, it's not, I mean, it's Nike has the dry fit, right? Oh, this is Heat Gear, was their version. But I liked it. Like, that print is really bright, and then the Under Armour logo on it. I thought that was kind of cool. Here we have a Nike hoodie, and this is the one that, like, it's like a cow neck, kind of, right? I sold a Nike hoodie real fast a few weeks ago, so... I am hoping this one will go just as quickly. Oh, this I thought was so pretty. It is J. Crew. I have no idea what the different um, labels mean, but it's blue and it just is like a cable knit sweater. It has that detail, but then it has these little like pom pom balls on it. Some of them are a little discolored. I don't know if you can tell, but it is wool. Actually, it's a wool blend, I believe. So I didn't wash it because, yeah, it has lamb's wool in it. I just thought it was darling. Dar I'm trying not to say cute all the time. Oh, hello, Layla. You've come to sniff the things. Oh, this? <laughs> Why did I buy this? Ah, no. Why did I buy this? Okay, this is Apartment 9, which I think is just like a Kohl's brand. It is a blazer, like a blazer. I do think it's really cute. The little pockets and the button. And then um, can you see the little like crocheted lace edging detail on that? I don't know why I bought this. I think it's wool. I think that's why I bought it. 
Yep, it's wool. That's why I bought it. Okay, because I thought it was cute, and it's wool, and I'm going to save it from the landfill, right? Let it go to someone who can give it a nice, loving home. I was excited to find this brand. I've never seen this brand. It is 100% extra fine merino wool, and it is untuck it. So, it is just a brown sweater, but it's a button, a quarter button, <laughs> as opposed to like a quarter zip, I guess. Um, it says extra large. I'm going to have to measure that out because it does not look very extra large to me, unless it's a woman's extra large. But I thought Untuck It was a men's brand. I don't know. I'll have to look into that. This is also a brand I wouldn't normally pick up, but it is Old Navy, but it's new with tags. And again, I think I was just thinking I will save it from the landfill because something that's new with tags should not go in the landfill. It's just a cotton blend, but it is a burgundy, just, it's, I would say it's a lightweight sweater, like really lightweight sweater. Maybe a heavy... It's not really t-shirt material. It's a knit. I don't know. Also, a um, brand I never, ever, ever find. <laughs> I don't think this is a good piece, but I grabbed it anyway because it's a brand I never, ever find. And it, oh, and of course, oh, well, it's because my hand's on it. It's Patagonia, but this is clearly like a very old <laughs> piece. It's just like a, feels like a dry fit t-shirt. So, um, in a really ugly color. I really, really like that color, like a mustard, but that's a little too gold <laughs> for my taste, but that's okay. Oh, this is a Levi. Are you seeing a theme? A Levi t-shirt. So, I didn't comp this either. Uh, I did comp a bunch of stuff, like a bunch of stuff. But I feel like I keep saying, I didn't comp this. I didn't comp this. Maybe all the stuff I comped, I didn't keep. I don't remember. But, oh, this was kind of cool. It is also new with tags. I do believe my daughter found this, I think. I don't remember. So it's new with tags. It is Lane Bryant. And it's like a turtleneck. Um, but like a poncho shawl thing. It does have, yeah, it has buttons on the side to close it. It's like cable knit. It's really pretty. I mean, I wouldn't wear it, but it's pretty. <laughs> this was cool. I did comp this. It has shoulder pads, which is ridiculous, but isn't that an awesome blazer? Can you see it? It has like studying on it, like rhinestones. <laughs> and these are satin, oh, sorry. Major glare there. I'm still working on my editing. And then this button is just totally blinged out. I did check to make sure all the buttons were there. But I thought it was super cool. The brand is Selini. And I did comp this, but I don't remember what it comped at. Another blazer. This one is wool. And is Savannah. It's just like an old uh, vintage woman's blazer like a burgundy color well the button's kind of cool it's like a gold gold tone this is Vince which I think is probably the nicest brand I found I think is it nice oh I don't think I saw that it was striped so just a sweater it's wool Can't find the tag. Wool and yak. Whoa. Very cool. And then the last shirt is actually a cardigan sweater that I love the style of, but I am not like a patterny person like that, but it just looks super cozy and warm. It is Lucky Brand. And yeah, it's just an open front. It is definitely pilly and it's going to take some time with my sweater shaver. But I thought it was really cute and cozy. And I like those words. If you hear my family, I'm sorry. They're 
this is Sunday afternoon here, so we're all hanging out, watching a little football, and I'm filming a haul. Next category, coats, outerwear. So this is an L.L. Bean purple lined quilted. It is dirty because I wore it hiking yesterday. It's quite nice. I may keep it. I'm deciding because there's another one. I did comp this because I wasn't sure. It is a Walls Workwear. Just reminded me of like a Carhartt coat. So it's pretty. Is it this one? Yeah, the sleeves are pretty trashed on that. So we'll see. I hear trashed cells, so we'll see. <laughs> Hopefully that's ac accurate. This is the other one I might keep. This is Snow Zoo Performance, which I think is a snowboarding brand. And it feels really lightweight, which is what makes me kind of want to keep it but it also feels very warm. So I think I have two thoughts. First thought is, oh, wait, there's a pocket. I could feel like this in the sleeve, but there's a sleeve pocket. I think the next time we go hiking, I'm gonna wear this one and see which one I like the best, or I'll recomp them and see which one is worth more and sell that one and give the other one. Is that how resellers decide what to wear? I don't know. This is a Wrangler work, like a barn work coat. It's nice. This one is uh, kids and also walls. So again, they just had that like Carhartt look. So I'm assuming they're not going to sell as well as a Carhartt, but I still think it'll be fine. This is a Vince Camuto. It's a black trench coat with like the gold zipper detail trim on there on the, yeah. So it does have a belt, which is always good. And then the last coat is a J Crew. There's the J Crew. And I believe it is wool. It is wool. It is very heavy. <laughs> and it is just like a pea coat, a brown pea coat, which I've heard that brown is pretty popular now. Again, I'm not like, I see a lot of YouTubers say like, I'm a fashion reseller. <laughs> I am not a fashion reseller. I am a reseller, but I like clothes. I'm not very fashionable. We'll see. I'm not saying that to diss myself. I'm just, it's who I am. These I bought only because they were new with tags and the retail was $50 on them. So they're just Dockers, Chino, Pants. They're women's. These I bought, they're Escada. I think I did comp them. They are, I, couldn't, I don't remember if they were leather or a faux, like a vegan leather. leather. Where is it? It's in a different language than the one I speak. Okay. Lamb leather, 100% lamb leather. So I have another pair of, a different brand, but another pair of leather pants that have had a ton of interest, a ton, and I actually just sold them today. So when I picked those up, I was like, oh, those black ones are getting a ton of interest. So you should go for it. This is a Banana Republic travel jean. They are black denim. Now, when I did my denim, my rule was, I was trying to make sure they were high rise. These might not be high rise. I wanted to make sure I knew the brand and they were at best straight leg, but I was going for wide or flare or boot leg. I did not hit that in all of them, but I think I did okay. These are Eddie Bauer and they're lined and yeah, they're little. This is seven, I thought it was seven for all mankind, but it's not. It was confusing 
when I comped them. So this is the brand. I actually have a pair of these and I really like them. Uh, not this exact style, but Again, I am no jean expert. This is Tommy Bahama. And it has like a little swordfish label. And these are quite large, but they are um, like a gray, kind of washed. I don't remember if those were men's or women's. So I guess I could look. These are a Banana Republic boot cut and I believe. Banana Republic. <laughs> we'll see. I definitely have all the denim. These are a relaxed, straight, loft brand of jeans. I liked the distressing on those. And a Lane Bryant pair, which is always good. This is another. This is a woman's Eddie Bauer Vashon fit. I don't know what that means. These are like a wide leg, dark wash. These are Tommy Bahama again. A couple of like the same kind of brands. So let's see, are these men's? These are men's. These are LL Bean and a men's. They're a 4430, so that's a really nice large size. I'm losing steam. Can you tell? <laughs> I'm almost done though. We're real close to the end. Hang out to the end and I'll tell you the uh, tino, tino, final tally. That's what I was trying to say. The final tally of how many denim items I have. So this is American Eagle. They're just a black denim, straight leg. These are Lucky Brand. I think I got a couple. These are a size four and they're an ankle. These are eh, probably tapered, if not skinny. American Eagle, again, I think I got three or four American Eagle. Again, very, very distressed, kind of cool looking. Another American Eagle, I believe these are men's. And the last American Eagle. Now, are you ready for it? Other than the pair of kids Levi's and the pair of Levi's shorts, these are all my Levo Levi's, nine pairs. So I guess 11 if you count the kids and the shorts, right? So I don't know. Do you want to see all these <laughs> in the specifics? These are 545s. Again, I am no expert. I just grabbed them. I don't even think any of these are um, what is the word I'm looking for vintage I don't think any of these are vintage I will look a little better but these are 314 shaping straight and I thought I like shaping things so this is a 529 curvy boot cut I thought those were cute and these are just men's 569s. I don't know what all these mean. I know they're different styles, but I don't know what those styles are. These are 527s. I like the dark wash on that. Are those? No, not my husband's size. Bummer. Those are nice. I can't see what that says. This is a classic relaxed boot cut 550 my pocket out <laughs> um, and then a classic boot in a size 8 those are nice and these are a 550 again those kind of look stonewashed don't they they don't uh, maybe maybe they are 
And these, oh, I saved the best for last. I didn't even do it intentionally. Ha! Huh? Yay! That's fun. It worked out. These are the very last pair. They are a light. They are 501s. And they have the button fly. I was super excited when I saw those. I actually forgot those were in here. Of course, there's no tag. So I don't. Well, they're 3332s. At least it has it on the label, but anyway, I was excited that I found the 501s because obviously lots of 505s, lots of 550s, lots of five random numbers, but 501s I have a hard time finding. So, all right, you ready? Drum roll. <laughs> 44 pieces of denim. 44. That's just insane. Um, I'm super excited about it. I like sewing. I think it's easy to take pictures. I feel like... I don't know. Everybody wears jeans, right? So anyway, I'm excited about my 44 pieces of denim, my 150, I think we worked our way down to like 149 at this point <laughs> pieces, but at, you know, 100 and, or 112, 112 cents each. <laughs> at $1 and 12 cents, you know, it'll go up a little bit from there, but it's going to be under $1.50 for each item. I am thrilled. I think, you know, even if what did I say the last time? Even if 70 of these pieces sell it a $10 profit, that's $700 that, you know, I didn't have before. So now obviously a lot of this will take time. It will take a lot of time uh, to get through. I can generally uh, photograph about 30 pieces at a time in about an hour and a half. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> Don't quote me on that. But yeah, so I'm excited now I have to clean up my room because it's a mess a mess and I have to figure out where I'm gonna put all this stuff because if you've seen my early early videos I showed you the space where I'm showing where I'm storing all my things and it's not big so my husband actually just came here came in here and said uh do you need to go to Lowe's and get some bins and I was like yes yes I do even though I actually, on the way home from the Goodwill outlet, I actually stopped and bought these two gray bins because I knew I needed at least some and I'm going to need probably at least two more. I have a big bin up in my attic that is empty. Don't ask me why there's empty bins in my attic, but there are. That, anyway, I think I'm going to put that underneath. I think it'll fit under my desk and I'm going to store all this plush. But... I got the plush bug. I don't know how that happened. My daughter did, really. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I'm excited to get this stuff listed and sold. That's the that's the idea, right? I don't think I have another. My daughter on the way home was like, "When can we go back?" She had so much fun. She loved it. It was so busy that day. I did not even take out my camera to film because it was just not happening. So. I told her maybe we will go another day, but we will see. I'm not sure that we might go towards the end of January and we'll just have to wait and see. So anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with me, for seeing my crazy haul of stuff. Um, I would love to know what you think my best item is. What do you think is the best thing that I found at the Goodwill Outlet, the bins this trip I don't even know what I think it is hmm it's probably this nasty Pikachu <laughs> who knows all right I would love it if you gave me a like a thumbs up if you enjoyed hanging out with me today and subscribe if you haven't already I most of my videos are vlog style and I go through what I'm finding at thrift stores and kind of my process and uh, of course what's sold so that's always fun. You can probably check out another video right here. And thanks so much for hanging out with me. I'll see you soon.